Hello guys and welcome to another video of the Luxury Zone. We're back with another interesting topic. Excited to know? Just keep on watching the video. Well, in case you don't know, watches are something that many people certainly love. It has become a part of daily outfits. Some people can't even leave their houses without wearing a watch. Probably, at this point, it's a part of fashion already. Well, not all watches are created equal. In fact, some are in a league of their own. Combining remarkable craftsmanship with a stylish aesthetic, luxury watches are so much more than simple accessories. They are wearable works of art. As such, it's no wonder why names like Rolex stir a certain feeling in not only watch enthusiasts but just about everyone. So, if you're looking for a timepiece that will provide fashion and function for years to come, you can't go past the world's most lavish watch labels. Unbeatable for their elegant designs and precise manufacturing, these names ooze importance and magnificence. In this video, we're going to encounter 10 expensive watch brands, but first subscribe to the channel. Let's start! Number 10. Blanc Pain Jehan Jacques Blanc Pain created this company in 1735 and every single one of their products is made by just one watchmaker. Making these timepieces highly exclusive and valuable. The prices range between $6,000 and even $500,000 and according to their slogan, they never made quartz watches, nor will they ever. Rolex makes around 2,000 watches every day, while Blank Pain only creates around 30. That's why it's much more difficult to get one. One of their most impressive watches is also one of the world's most complicated timepieces, produced in a limited run of just 30 pieces, with one more added every year. Number 9. Louise Poinet Starting by the inventor of the chronograph in 1806, the workshop of Louise Poinet made some extraordinary clocks for world leaders and celebrities like Napoleon Bonaparte, Tsar Alexander I, King George IV of England or Thomas Jefferson. Louis Moynet watches were considered true art pieces and his first signed pieces can be seen in museums like the Louvre, Chateau de Versailles or Palazzo Pitti. The regular watches coming from his company cost between $8,000 and $26,000. Number 8. Breguet so the Swiss manufacturer Breguet flatters itself for being one of the oldest watchmakers that are still in production, with their history starting in 1775 in Paris. The company moved to Valley de Joux, Switzerland in 1976, and among their inventions we can count the Turbulon invented by Abraham Louis Breguet as well as the world's first wristwatch made in 1810. The price range of their timepieces ranges today between $6,000 and an astonishing $400,000, but they could go even further for one-off pieces. Breguet even made watches for King Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette with the Breguet number 160, grand complication being also known as Marie Antoinette, containing every watch function known at the time, encasing gold with sapphires inside to decrease friction. Unfortunately, the Queen didn't live to see the watch completed, and it is now exhibited at the LA Mayer Institute for Islamic Art in Jerusalem. Number 7. Jaeger Le Coultre. Founded in 1833 by Antoine Le Coultre, Swiss watchmaker Jaeger Le Coultre has revolutionized the timekeeping industry over time with a lot of innovations. For example, they've introduced the world's smallest caliber. They have designed the most complicated wristwatch and also the world's first keyless watch, which depended on a small push piece that permitted a lever to change over from one function to another. The fine time pieces from Jaeger Le Coultre started around $4,000 and could reach well over $1 million for exquisite watches, like the Hybris Mechanica Grand Design E, which sells for $1,474,000 with $70. This incredible watch has no less than 1,300 parts and can play the entire Big Ben chiming sequence. Number 6. Audemars Piguet So Swiss luxury watchmaker Audemars Piguet was founded back in 1875 by two friends, Jules-Louis Audemars and Edward Auguste Piguet, 
who wanted to produce complex watch movements that would soon take over the world. Right now, Audemars Piguet is one of the world's most renowned watchmakers and each component of their timepieces is still made with traditional techniques. Their watches range from $8,000 to even $250,000. Number 5. Piguet The watchmakers from Piguet also worked as jewelers in the small village of La Cote aux Fies, Switzerland, and they originally manufactured watch movements, moving into the creation of watches only in the 20th century. Their prices range from $10,000 to $210,000 nowadays, and some of their watches could be actually considered fashionable jewelry, like the Alta Plano Calibre 1200D that's just loaded with gems, an internal structure crusted in diamonds and a highly complex mechanism which costs $152,000. Number 4. Roger de Vuys. Founded by Carlos Diaz and Roger de Vuys, this Swiss watchmaker is much younger than the competition with only 20 years in the field. But the quality of their craftsmanship is extraordinary, making their watches really appreciated. You could get a Roger de Vuys timepiece from somewhere between $11,000 to $156,000, but there are some exquisite pieces selling for way more than that. The millesimal double flying tribulon is a good example, produced in a limited run of just 88 pieces. Roger de Vuys himself created this mesmerizing timepiece as one of the most accurate watches ever made, which sells for $263,000. The company also enters a million dollar watches list with Excalibur Quatuor that's made entirely out of silicon with half the weight of titanium but four times the durability. This amazing timepiece has an RD101 movement that makes it incredibly accurate and it's priced at around $1,125,000. Number 3. Patek Philippe Founded in 1851 in Geneva, Patek Philippe is considered by many experts as the most prestigious watchmaker in the world, being the supplier of watches to Queen Victoria since its inception. Their timepieces have some of the most complicated mechanisms and they usually sell for between $10,000 to $780,000. Patek Philippe has made some of the most expensive watches ever sold, such as the Henry Graves Super Complication, which was sold back in 1999 for 11 million dollars and then again in 2014 for no less than 24 million dollars. Number 2. Vacheron Constantin. Vacheron Constantin is the oldest watchmaker with an uninterrupted history and one of the three best traditional watchmakers along with Patek Philippe and Piguet. They've made timepieces for Napoleon Bonaparte. Pope Pius XI, Harry Truman, and the Duke of Windsor, and they're also responsible for the world's first engine turn dials. For their 250th anniversary, they created a limited edition of seven pieces entitled Tour de Ile, which featured two phases to have enough space for all their displays. These watches had a second time zone, a perpetual calendar, a sunset time indicator, plus many other features that make them one of the most complicated watches ever made, with a price of $1,538,000 with $160. So if you're looking for a cheaper watch from Vacheron Constantin, the minimum you need to pay is $11,000. Number 1. A-Lange and Sony Probably the best high-end watches come from Germany, born specifically from Glashut, near Dresden. Founded in 1845, A. Lange and Sonne had a long tradition in making quality pocket watches. The company ceased to exist in 1948, but it was reborn in 1990, with their first wrist watches coming out in 1994. Blending perfect mechanical movement with gold or platinum cases, the watches from A. Lange feature a distinctive look that's sometimes called Teutonic in its austerity. The cheapest watches can be bought for $14,000 and they could go up to even $580,000 and beyond. For example, the Grand Complication watch unveiled at SIHH 2013 
was priced at $2,497,000, featuring both a Grand Sonnerie and a Petite Sonnerie, as well as a minute repeater, a monopusher chronograph with split seconds function, a perpetual calendar, and a display of the moon faces. So guys, do you want any watches from these brands yet? We know you probably do. Well that's it for today's video guys, so watch lovers, comment down below and mention which part of the video was your favorite one. Also what do you think about it, let us know in the comment section and don't forget to drop your suggestions for our next video, we would definitely be happy to know them. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up for future dope content. As always guys, a pleasure to bring you quality content and see you in our next video. Adios.